Okay, so still in the W in Chicago. I'm actually moving hotels to go to the other W in Chicago. Particular reason, really. Well, actually, this one's sold out. That was the reason. W, can we, guys, you guys just want to sponsor me? I mean, if you're watching W, which, you know, you sent me the bathrobe. Next tour, let's just get this thing going. Let's do it, let's do it proper. I had another free room, basically, so I'm just gonna stay there one more night, and then I'm gonna head out to Schwamberg, or however you say it, I don't know how you say it, of course. Closer to the convention where the convention is. So I'll be there uh, tomorrow, but today I'm just gonna kinda kick around. I don't really have any plans. I honestly, I'm like super tired. It's like catching up with me, so I'm just gonna rest, probably. I've been saying that a lot, that I'm gonna rest, but I really haven't been resting. It's hard to rest and get a vlog done you know those two things don't really like go hand in hand but um yeah so moving hotels no real plans gonna eat some food be lazy smoke some weed you know the regular stuff Chicago's still out there let's go get in it a protein bar I got this juice the ingredients are listed protein bar kale salad gonna eat this and then, definitely need to eat this after yesterday's Nutella excursion. And then I heard one of my followers tweeted me and said that the Water Tower, Water Town, Water Tower, one of those Adidas in Chicago, has the Pride Ultra Boost and the Copper Ultra Boost sitting. So I'm gonna go grab the Prides real quick. The Coppers are already on the way to me, but I'm gonna go grab the, so I'm gonna get all these bags out of here. If you're ever wondering, I still got these. I didn't lose them. Oh, got lettuce in my beard. Yes, sir. I have these three bags, and then I'll need you guys just to hold them for like an hour, maybe. Yeah, sure. Pick up for Teddy? That's right. Yeah, cool. I'll just come to you and make it easier. Oh, nice camera, man. Oh, thanks. What's that little? What is what? This? Uh, no, the bottom. This? Yeah. Oh, uh, just a tripod, so you can like move it and bend it and nice, twist nice. it. Yeah. It's made by a company called Joby. Joby? Yeah. They're okay. They're cooler. They're not as functional as you would think, but. Like when you first get them, you're like, oh, I'll attach this to a bridge and skydive off of it. And then you realize, no, it's just gonna, it'll slip right off. Dollop. There's so many cafeterias, bakeries nowadays. Yeah. You guys just got the Nutella Cafe yesterday. Really? Yeah, you guys got the first one. I guess it's the first one in America. I thought it was the first one in the world. I was, it's over by, is it Millennium Center? Is that? Something? Million Park? Million Park, there you go. So you're talking about Michigan only? Yeah, Michigan and Lake, maybe? I might have saw. Yeah. Yesterday there was like crazy line. I waited in it for two hours. Really? Yeah. So it just opened open? Yeah, it just opened yesterday. Nutella. definitely an upgraded room this is not what I booked but that SPG Platinum they give you the upgrade so thanks W really awesome I'm gonna try and set up a camera to shoot the sunset maybe or sunrise I don't know probably sunset glass balls Ooh, these probably light up Ooh, dang they do light up little glowing balls that makes any room better. Pride Ultra Boost. And I grabbed a couple of Chicago Adidas shirts. Should have been picking these up at every Adidas, but I guess I didn't. So, too late now. Everybody at Water Tower, super cool. Everybody that works there was nice and helpful. Great store. Uh, Sneaker Con is upon us. It's two days. It's gonna be crazy. I already know it's gonna be crazy. Okay, so we picked up the Whoa, light. Pride Ultra Boost came out today. 
So these are the LGBT Pride Ultra Boost. Well, LGBTQ. These are dropping because it is the beginning of Pride Month, National Pride Month. If you don't know what Pride Month is, the official definition, because I want to make sure I get it right, is gay pride or LGBT pride is the positive stance against discrimination and violence toward lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender, also queer, people to promote their self-affirmation, dignity, equal, equal, it says equality rights, but I would say equal rights, increase their visibility as a social group, build community, and celebrate sexual diversity, diversity and gender variants. Official definition. Uh, this is what the shoe looks like. Adidas did uh, this whole pride line also. It's not just this shoe. They did like a James Harden. I think he was a superstar. Let's, let's look that up too. Let's get official. Official Teddy here. Official. Um, they did a crazy explosive boost version, an EQT support ADV version, a superstar, and an ultra boost. Like I said, this is the ultra boost. So, shoe, it's pretty basic other than the color variant going down the heel cup. Yes, the answer to your question is that is a chip in the paint. Came out of the factory that way. I didn't notice it at the store. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, I'm not freaking out about it or anything, but it's a little bit of a bummer. It kind of makes me worried though. It kind of makes me worried that these are gonna chip up all crazy, which could look cool, but I've just got, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I hope not. Basically, you have a, what they call an all black upper, but it's not all black. It's black with a little bit of this grayish blue all digitized, digitally peppered in. And so 3.0 gradient on that. Like we said, some people call it a stretch mark pattern, but you know. All black and gray upper, black laces, regular TPU plastic cages. The inside cup is white. I do like that they put the pride on the outside. I think that's cool. Someone just tweeted me and said, what, we're not proud on the inside, but that's not what I mean. I'm just saying, I think it's cool. I don't know, man. I'm an artist, you know? Uh, you have a continental sole with a white torsion system and just a regular Ultra Boost insole layer. So it's a very basic shoe. It's a very basic model. It's a black and white shoe and you just have the rainbow gradient on the outside, which kind of just makes the shoe. It's literally the only feature of the shoe in general. I think it's super cool. I think it's cool that Adidas has done this. Nike is doing it also. I think, um, you know, in 2017, if you're still homophobic or prejudiced really in any manner, you should probably realize that you lost and join the side of, you know, what makes sense. I think it's cool that big corporations are doing projects like this. Chicago, New York, San Francisco, LA, I heard all of those store, Adidas stores have them. So it shouldn't be that bad um, if you live in those markets. Online, I know the drops were a little weird. Uh, I know Foot Locker dropped and then there's some random other places, but I don't even know if Adidas dropped them. So um, this is the Pride Ultra Boost. It is a must cop for me just because I think it's kind of historic. It's cool to have in the collection and um, yeah. That's the shoe.